My name is Henrietta. I'm going to say Rutherford. So those that are watching YouTube, if they see it back in the States, they don't know exactly who I am. Um, I am here for the second time in Ghana. And one of the main reasons I'm here is because I wanted to know more about the motherland. I've been hearing so much from childhood about the motherland, about Africa. Um, so I got an interest in finding out about the motherland. Last year when I came, I, I, I saw things, and I'm not going to say everything was what I expected it to be, but you have to be ready for changes. You can't just stay in one settings and, and don't see what the rest of the world is living like or what's going on in the rest of the world. And Africa was my heart strength, wanted to see. And since I started really reading my Bible, going back to Genesis and finding out who we really are, I really got interested in coming to Africa. So that is the main, that's the number one reason to find out I mean, I knew, I learned who I really am and where we started from way back in biblical days with Noah, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right down the line to right where we are today. That's where it all started. So the uh, other thing is, I mean, if you just look around, I got a coconut. They got the, they went and cut a coconut from the trees. <laughs> And I everything see, is fresh. Everything is fresh. That's one thing. The fruits here, the fruits here are so sweet. Everything is fresh from the tree, from the ground. Um, no pesticides, no hormones to make things grow. The earth here is very rich. You put plant a seed in the ground, you water it, sunshine, it grows. Absolutely. And that's the way Yah, God, for those that don't know his proper name, intended for it. Seed time and harvest time. And to wake up in the morning, to see the ocean, to see the ocean, to hear it at night when you're sleeping. And I know in the states, you, places you can go, but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> to get this in the states, you're going to pay for it big time. And it's so great to come and see all, I mean, the most blacks, our black people who live, that their houses may not be what they are, you know, back in the state. When I was to see them, they have seaside houses right beside the ocean. And then they're not paying an arm and a leg like we have to do in the States. You get a place to have to come on a, uh, live on a place right where the ocean is. It's not many that can afford that. Well, I'll tell you what I do. That's what I do. That is what I do. Because, you know, um, the fact that you are from America, maybe you live in America, that can be that you are not a Ghanaian. You are a Ghanaian, you can also. It's just the language that buys us a bit. So I will admit, but you also made mention of when you came to Africa, you were expecting something, but you didn't go as far. What are some of the things that you didn't go as far? Well, some of the things that I didn't realize that was happening, and I've heard many say it, that number one is the lights. The lights are always going out too many times. So, to me, I don't know why or what, but to me, I'm saying, well, what's the problem? Can't they fix the grid, you know, where the lights won't keep going off? Of but that's in some areas. That's, that's one of the things. And the second thing and the biggest thing is the roads. That's, again, it's only in certain areas. So, I got to see um, other areas that they were nice roads. They were the lights doesn't go off as much as the, the area that I was in. But these are some of the things. And you know, when you come 
come over here and you see a lot of things that you want to change, but you just can't come here and start changing things. Um, so, that's all I'm going to say about that. Well, coming to Ghana, Strategy is different from African marketing strategy. 
So you bring in the, the uh, what do you call it, the kind of American philosophy of doing business in Ghana. Yes. I, I don't think it's going to work. So what are some of the things you're putting in place to blend those two strategies together to make it in Ghana? The strategies that I'm blending together, yeah. that's what I told you. I chose things that are already here in Ghana that's growing on the trees. That is very, plenty, plenty, plenty. I chose those things to, uh, to, to obey because if I had to go out and really just buy up those things, uh, it would be very difficult for me. So I chose the local foods, the local fruits to produce my baby, the local fruits. So do you intend to also uh, extend your business across Africa with this? It's going to be beginning in Ghana. Uh, right now, I'm going to think about Ghana. Maybe, I'm not sure, I have to first um, test it out first. I'm not going to just come here and go big, 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 big until I test it out in Ghana first. And then I will see what. I have done I have done this business for years and years. So I'm gonna get younger people to do to do the footwork. Yeah, to teach them. That's one thing I would like to do. I want to teach the bacon more so than get in the kitchen and bake. Because I've done that so many years and I've had problems now with my legs and my feet. Um, so I, I want to teach, that's another thing I really would like to do, to teach the young people here, not only how to bake, but some business strategies, how, you know, what to do. You know, when I first came, when I, now, and I listened to uh, a diff, different ones on YouTube from Africa, from America, they says, when you come to Ghana, you look around, you just take your time and look around and see what's needed and that's where you can start with what type what, what kind of business you want to do here. so i did that now there is a lot of bakeries in ghana but i can tell you what none of them is like what i do and i, I ghanians does not like real sweet stuff i understand they don't like like sweet cakes like americans does <laughs> They don't like, and I taste one of their cakes. <laughs> I taste one of their cakes, and it's not sweet. It's not sweet, sweet. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to introduce what I do. Feel the water, you know, and feel out. I'm going to introduce what I do and see how they like it. That's all I can do. So do you intend to? Go back to Africa just, and go back to America just in case, um, uh, or anything like that. No, when I came here, I came here with a mind to stay. So if I came here with a mind that oh, if it don't work out, I'm going back to America. No, I came with a mind to stay here. But if things things are, I, I don't foresee that right now that I would have to leave Ghana to go back to the U.S. Unless I want to, I will go back to visit family. But I don't have a mindset that I'm going to run from Ghana back to the U.S. Well, you know, American normally don't want to tell people about black history and so forth in America. So now that you are in, you are in Africa now, okay, what are also the things that you also put in place to learn your own history or maybe to learn your own background checks and everything? I started learning that before I came over here. Our history, our, 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 our history of our black people. I started learning that before even getting here. And the more I learned about it, the more I understand why they keep black history out of the schools in America, because they don't want us to know who we really are. They, that's the truth. They keep the black, they don't, they don't want to teach black history in America. They really don't. They fought for years and still fighting to keep black history out of the schools. Because they don't want us to really know. Because they, you know what? If the people will rise up and find out who they really are, who we really are, it will be. Then the, 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 the man.
men back home, I'm going to say it like that, back in the U.S., they are afraid. And I truly believe they are afraid that it would be a very big uprising if they let the people know, if the people were taught who they really are. Do you think America has done you wrong or right? Oh, no. Nah. America has done the blacks wrong. I mean, I don't have to even think about that. And still, still doing them, doing us wrong. Yes, America. That, I, I was born and raised in America. That is all my family, everything. So, I, America, I, I can't speak all bad about America because it has done some good, you know? It's an easier life in America, even with all the prejudice, all of the mistreatment, it's still an easier life in America. So what are some of the things that you think um, Africans should learn from America in order for us to also help develop the continent? What Africa should learn from yes. America? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so are the good things. <laughs> ah, what? Yes. Well, First of all, they have to be taught, taught. They have to be taught. Um, I mean, I can sit here and see in my mind what should, what, um, and should Africa learn anything from America? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Uh, because Africa has all of the resources here. All the resources that we need is here in Africa. So the, my, my really problem was trying to figure out what is the problem? Why is Africa is still living in poverty so much? Why is Africa not prospering like it should? But how do you also search yourself down to also find solutions for what you are saying? Uh, a solution. We, I'm, you know, and, and no. We, as Americans, I know we want to come over and start changing things. And it can be done, but we can't just come in to start changing things. That, you know, because the people are here, they're not going to, they don't want, you know, to come in and, oh, you coming in to take over, you coming in. And, they, they, you, you can't just do that. But little by little, they can be taught, if they choose to be taught. Yes. Like the symbol, what I just said before, like the lights going on and off. There is no reason because they they're not doing they are not doing what they should be doing with the grid, with the the light grid. And you know what? Now this is not negative, but this is this is really what I what I what I see here. I, I'm telling you. One thing, and I don't want to talk about the police here. I, I'm not going to talk negative about them. But I hate when you go on that road and riding out there, they are all up and down the road, stopping cars for, do, for nothing. And what do they want? They want money. They want money. <laughs> so I, for me, to change that, I, I'm not going to change. I cannot do it all alone. It's 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 you demand you and yes. you change all those kind yes. of narratives. So if something like that is also going on and you be in Africa, you are not just saying you know maybe speaking anything about this. There's nothing that um that we can change. So the only thing you have to do is to start engaging people then we 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 take it forward. That's true. If the people would stick together, that's what it takes. You, but I've been in groups that, okay, we're going to start this, we're going to do this. And then you find yourself, you are alone. Everybody just backing down, everybody, a lot of people scared because people do not want to ruffle anybody's feathers, you know, because they're afraid that, I don't know. But if you stick together, if you get the big group and stick together and make, you know, put in, what is it called, confidence to go and, and, and uh, talk to them and see and, yeah, it could be done, but I just got here, so I'm, I'm, ask me just a 
later in it. But no, this is what I see. Well, I need to ask you my last two questions. Those are Yes. Local food, yes. Like, like, like best. Yes. So, can you name the food that you put the so far that is a favorite and can you also prepare it? Um, the foods that are like, of course, jello rice. That's all good. And some people made real good jello rice and I tasted it that was not good. That's like anywhere. And, um, well, let me just name the foods that I know I don't like. That might be easier. I have not acquired a taste for banku and fufu. <laughs> Those are the two foods I, I have tried it, but I just cannot acquire a taste. No, I just can't acquire a taste for it. So, um, But basically, I eat fish and chicken. I uh, eat vegetables. So... Yes, I eat fish and chicken. So those two, and, and I went to the, the fish market today. Down when the boats come, came in down there in uh, Almeida. I went down there this morning. That was truly an experience for me. All the boats coming in bringing the fish, fish on um, oh, I mean, right off the boat. Yes, I really enjoyed it. It was thousands of people going through what I really enjoyed looking at. At the, you know, the boats coming in and everything. I tell you, it was enjoyable. What, what would you tell people out there that are watching you on my channel? What would I tell people? Oh, my final words for people that have not been here, I, and I've been telling even my relatives back home, whatever you do, try to at least visit the motherland one time. Don't, don't, um, don't take what you see on TV, because the only thing they really show on TV is, of Africa is the poverty. They don't show the beautiful parts of Africa. And Africa is some parts here that you would not think that you are in Africa if you have a mindset of what the people are telling you on TV. Don't believe everything you see on, on the media because they are not showing you the true Africa. They, I, and I'm going to say this. They have, back in, they have, the mindset of people have been twisted so much the mindset of our black people have been twisted so much about Africa. Because when I was a child growing up for a long time, all they showed on TV was Tarzan. And what was Tarzan? Was this white man swinging from the tree in the jungles of Africa? Some of the stupid questions I'm not going to, that, um, that when I tell people, told people before I came here, that I'm going to Africa. And I said, you should come and visit me. Oh, no, no. The tigers, um, the lions. What tigers and lions? They are in the zoo just like back home. Yeah. That's, now, I understand that there's a certain part of Africa that you go to safari and you know. The, the, and even those places are in the zoo. Yes, because they show Tarzan. Yeah. The lions um, killing people, or, or, but that's what I want to let people know. Do not take the media. Do not listen to everything the media tells you about Africa. Africa is beautiful. Africa is really pretty. So that's what I want to let them know. So guys, as you are watching, we are changing the narratives. We are changing this negative mindset about what people think about Africa. Do not let anybody tell you that Africa will sleep in bushes or maybe we will live with the tigers or anything of that. That is not true. So guys, just pack your things. Come to Africa, visit Africa, come and explore Africa, explore Ghana, and keep subscribing to my channel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.